take a look at the man and woman who left sitting in this car. They're clearly in pain. She is. The car slammed into a semi trailer. Now, the driver of that semi says this driver went through a red light. Tanya supporter Diana Alvey are live in National City. She's been on top of this. Diane, how's everybody doing? You know, Virginia, they are alive, which is the important thing, but they were definitely hurt, and that's not surprising considering how much damage was done to that car. Let me set this up for you. So the car was headed down a mile of cars this way, ran a red light, and T-boned a tractor trailer carrying a load of Audis as it was turning onto Interstate 5. Check out this 10 News breaking news tracker video. You see that hole in the windshield of the car? Well, that's where the driver's head smashed into it. Now, he seemed to be okay, but unfortunately, his female passenger with him, she's the one who ended up needing the majority of the medical attention. They ended up having to put a neck brace on her, load her onto a stretcher, and then into an ambulance. The driver ended up going with her, and they were transported to a hospital. Now, the driver of that truck didn't want to go on camera with us, but all he kept saying was he just couldn't understand how the driver of the car claimed he didn't see him, and that's understandable considering how big that tractor trailer was. Now, fortunately, the driver of the truck was okay, and he was able to leave the scene in his own truck. Live in National City, Diana Alviar, 10 News.